A single Angular component has a class and a corresponding template that represents the view. In this video, let's see how Angular makes it possible to push data values into the HTML controls and turn user responses into actions and value updates. To handle such a push and pull logic, Angular provides four forms of binding. Each form has a binding to the DOM, from the DOM or in both directions. First, we have interpolation, which is represented by the double curly braces. This is one-way data binding from the component class to the template. Next, we have property binding, which is represented by square brackets. Again, this is one-way data binding from the component class to a property of an HTML element. In the other direction, we have event binding, which is represented by parentheses. This is one-way binding from the HTML template to the component class. With event binding, we can execute handlers on user interactions. Finally, we have two-way binding that combines property and event binding in a single notation, which is banana in a box or parentheses inside square brackets. The two-way binding syntax ensures the model and the view are always in sync. Let's take a look at an example for each of the bindings. I'm going to open Visual Studio Code and you can see that I have a new project called Template Demo already created using Angular CLI. To create a new project, make sure you have Angular CLI installed and in the terminal, run the command ng new template-demo. This will get you to the point where I am right now. Next, in the terminal, which is control plus backtick, navigate inside the project folder, cd template-demo. Now run the command ng serve dash o. You should see your demo application up and running. Now let's begin from scratch. I'm going to go back to VS Code, open app.component.html and wipe out the entire markup. Similarly, open app.component.ts and remove all the properties. All right, let's take a look at the examples now. The first form of binding is interpolation. It is used to bind data from the class to the template. So let me close the explorer and in the class, I'm going to create a new property. This is going to be page title and this is going to be equal to Angular component interaction. The class now asks the template, hey, I have a page title property that has to be displayed. Can you do that for me? And the template says, sure, I can do that with interpolation. So in the template, within a pair of curly braces, we specify the property. So h1 tag, curly braces, page title. Now, if we take a look at the browser, you can see that the title is displayed in the view. The next form of binding is property binding with which we can bind to a property of the HTML element. So back in VS Code, in the class, I'm going to create a new property. This is going to be called image URL and is equal to https pixum.photos slash 200. The URL gives us a 200 by 200 image to work with. Now in the template, let's add an image tag and to the source, we bind the image URL. Image tag, to the source, we use property binding, square brackets, image URL, and alt can be image. If you take a look at the browser, you can see that the binding works and an image is rendered. Next up, we have event binding in which communication is from the template to the component class. 
Let's create a simple click counter to understand event binding. So in the class, I'm going to create a new property called count and initialize it to zero. I'm also going to create a method that increments the value of the count property. I'm going to call this increment count. This dot count plus equal to one. Now in the template, I'm going to add a button element. When a user clicks on this button, we need to execute the increment counter method. So we need to listen to the click event on the button. The syntax is parentheses and within parentheses, the event we are listening to, which is click. This is going to be equal to an event handler, which is increment counter. So when the user clicks on the button, the template passes on the message to the class. Hey component class, the user just clicked on the button. Can you increment the count value? And sure enough, the class receives the message from the template and increments the value of count by one. Let's also use interpolation to bind the value of count so that we can visually see the value being incremented. Clicked count times. And the method should be increment count. If I now go back to the browser and click on the button, you can see that the count value is incremented. All right, the final form of binding is two-way binding. In this form, the template passes on the data to the class to update the model, and the model passes the data back to the template to keep the view in sync. Now to start using two-way binding, we first need to include the forms module. So open app.module.ts and import forms module. Also, we have to add it to the imports array. Now back in the component class, let's create a new property to use for two-way binding. Name of type string. Next in the template, let's create a new input element. Input type is equal to text. For two-way binding, we use the ng model directive with the banana in a box syntax. So banana in a box and ng model. To this, we assign the property to bind to, which is the name property. To view the value in the template, let's also include a paragraph tag with the message, welcome, and then interpolation on the name property. On a side note, if your input element is within a form tag, you also need to add the name attribute. If not, we're going to see an error in the console. Because our input element is not within a form tag, I don't have to add the name attribute when using two-way binding. So now if I go back to the browser and start entering a name, you can see that the view updates as and when you type. So what is happening is first event binding from the view to the class property, and then the updated value is passed back to the template with property binding. This way, the class and the template are always in sync with regards to the property value. Two-way binding is an essential concept in Angular forms when you want to submit a form or load a form with pre-filled data. You can learn more about it in my Angular forms tutorial. All right, to summarize, Binding is a basic form of interaction between the component class and its corresponding template. We have interpolation and property binding where the interaction results in data flow from the class to the template. We have event binding where the interaction results in flow of data from the template to the class. We also have two-way binding that results in flow of information in both the directions. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.